Hey guys, Frankie Hovers here, world famous flying junkies, and I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. The 3D world has been taken by storm. If you've been 3D printing like I have and been using Cura, today is your day. Popped open Cura, got a, an update. It uh, warned me that 3.6.0 has been released. I don't know about you, but I've been running the uh, 3.51 version. Tons of bugs, crashes on me, won't load profiles. Yeah, you know, once you get it to work, I mean, I guess it prints okay, but just just a little buggy for me. So this right here is very exciting. As you can see, 3.6.0 has been released. Top of the list, uh, worth the price of admission alone, in my opinion, gyroid infill. Okay, they're giving us a new infill pattern with enhanced strength properties. Gyroid infill is one of the strongest infill types for a given weight. They claim it has isotropic properties. What's that? They say it prints relatively fast with reduced material and a fully connected interior. Now, that's pretty dope. Um, it looks like the only downfall here is that it's going to increase your slicing time. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's new support brim system here. I don't use brims often. Uh, when I do, they're a little strange. So, it looks like they're going to change the brim's geometry and all that. That's good. That's good. Improve your bed adhesion. Okay. Cooling fan number. Uh, you can change your cooling fan numbers, I'm guessing. It is now possible to specify the cooling fan to use if your printer has multiple fans. Oh, okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, settings refractor. It says the Cura engine has been refracted to create a more stable, future-proof way of storing and representing settings. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So I, I've always thought it was a little strange when you're in Cura and you want to export your settings. You have like two different areas you got to go into. It's a bit confusing. You have to remember to update your settings. So I'm hoping that there's some improvement in there. Uh, they're claiming it makes slicing faster and future development easier. I like that it says future-proof way of storing and representing settings. Let's see. I'm going to keep licking my lips over here. What we got? Uh, print Core is available, selectable under the Ultimaker S5 profile only. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess they're trying to push people towards their... Ultimaker stuff there. Uh, the print core is optimized for use with abrasive materials and composites. Interesting. File name and layer display. Added M117 commands to G code to give in real time information about the print file name and layer. Number shown on printer's display. Okay, so I've done this. This is like in my G code hack video where I put that in there and I can tell I can tell the screen what to say. So, hmm, yeah, I'd like to take a little credit for that one, but they gave that one to uh, Addy Castillo or something like that. <laughs> Big shout out, bro. Thanks for throwing that in. We needed that. The update checker code has been improved. Faster updates, great. So they're going to be bombing us down with updates all the time, which is good. Good. I mean, this this needs to be done, man. All those bugs I had in the last version were just, oh, God. What else? We got full screen mode. Pretty cool. If you want to go big, you know, go big or go home, right? Uh, configuration error. In previous versions of Ultimate Acura, would display an error. Now, I want to get to the Ender stuff. I saw some Ender. Here we go. Here we go. Improved definitions for Ender 3. The Ender 3 build plate size has been adjusted to the correct size of 235 by 235 millimeters, something I suggested in my Perfect Prints video. 235 by 235. So that's good to see. They're finally understanding the full potential of the Ender 3. Corrected the startup sequence, and the print head position has been adjusted when prints are purged or completed. Okay, so that's like a um, big shout out to uh, 3D Print Canada over there. They had thrown out some, some videos where they were messing around with uh, the startup sequence and all that. Uh, but that won't... Uh, Add mesh names to slicing message. Bug fixes. Bug fixes are always good. There was something else in here I saw where you can download profiles from the marketplace for your material. Here we go. Materials in marketplace. A new tab has been added to the marketplace that includes downloadable material profiles to quickly and easily prepare models for a range of third-party material. That's pretty dope. So if you buy something on you know Amazon or wherever and... You go in and look for the profile, like when I go looking around for TPU, normally I can't find a profile in Cura. There's like, rare, it's rare to find one for TPU. So I guess now you can just go and download one for your manufacturer. That's pretty dope. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited, man. There's some really cool things in here. 
so yeah, there it is. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I had the uh, change log up here, and I was about to X out of it and just start slicing away and printing something, but uh, I got excited. I wanted to share that with you guys. I know uh, we've had a little history with the 3D printers, and this, for Cura makers, and uh, especially the Creality Ender 3 owners, is really good news. There you have it. Frankie Hover's world-famous flying junkies. I'm going to get back to printing up some drone frames. Working on some prototypes here. Big shout out to the Flying Junkies. Check us out online, on our IG, Facebook, all that. At Flying Junkies. Peace and blessings. One love. I'm Maui.